Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. Today I am off to Leeds, to Leeds Playhouse, to go and see their production of Oliver. Um, so I've kindly been uh, gifted my tickets for their press night and yeah, really looking forward to it. I'm off to get the train to Leeds now. Um, and the train is at, I think it's at half three. I think we get there for about five o'clock. The show starts at seven. It's a two and a half hour performance and I'm really excited because I've never actually been in the bigger theatre in Leeds Playhouse and this is in the bigger one. So it'll be interesting to see. Obviously I'll show you around the theatre, show you any merch if they have any. I think they'll probably only have programmes because it's their own production. Um, and yeah, it should be a fun evening. So obviously when I get home I'll review the show for you as well. I hope you enjoy this little theatre vlog. So I'm just at the tram station now. The tram's due in about two minutes. So we should have plenty of time to get our train. It's only half two and the train's not due till half three. So we've got an hour. It takes about half an hour to get there. So we'll have a bit of time. It's very cold today, very icy. Okay, so we've just arrived at Victoria train station. Uh, we've still got about 40 minutes to our train, so let's have a little walk around, maybe sit in a coffee shop or something for a, for a minute. But yeah, we've got 40 minutes to wait now. We're quite early, so we're gonna go and sit in Costa. We've got like half an hour, so. So we just nipped into Costa. I got a Black Forest hot chocolate. Didn't have any cream though. So I'll see what, what I think of this one. I've not tried that before. And then I got a cherry bake well. In there. There we go. Tash got a blueberry muffin and latte. a latte. So we're gonna eat this because we've got half an hour to our train, so sit here for a bit until we need to go. Okay, so our train is going from platform six. We need to go up the stairs and across the bridge because it's a very far platform. So our train has been delayed by 15 minutes, but it's due now in about two minutes. So we're just gonna move down a little bit. Finally on the train. I think it's about uh, I think it's about ten to four now. Uh, it's going to take about an hour and a half to get there, so we're probably going to have enough time just to get some food from McDonald's and then head straight to the theatre. So I'll get back to you now once we have meat.
we've just arrived in Leeds. It's very busy because it's like half five or so now. But we're going to go and head probably to McDonald's to get some food and then we're going to head to the theatre. So they might all spend it just... Okay, so we're just going to quickly stop off at McDonald's and get something to eat before we head to the theatre. Okay, so we've just popped in McDonald's. I've just got some chicken selects and chips. I'm going to eat this and then we're going to head to the theatre. There's the uh, Christmas market, but we're going in this direction. Okay, so we've just arrived at the theatre now. We're just going to head in and then I need to go and find where I need to get my programme from. I can't quite remember. So, yeah, just heading in now. just picked up my program from the princess and I'm going to looking through that and I picked up a couple of stickers for my kids when they get home they had some um crocodile ones and they also have an oliver one so I just picked up some of those okay so we're now in the theatre it is I think it's 20 to 7 it starts at 7 so it starts in 20 minutes so we're going to go in and take our seats from the quarry theatre which is a bigger theatre and it's actually in the round today so it's going to be really interesting to see it perform in the round so we're going to go in and take our seats we're in row k we're in door three so we're going to go and find our way to our seats now okay so we're just inside the theatre oh wow it's massive really nice we're on row k Okay, so we are in our seats now. We are on row K, seat 25, 26, I'm in seat 26, passion seat 25. And <laughs> the view is really good from here and the stage, it looks amazing. It completely transformed the third space. So it's been doing in the, in the round, which is really interesting. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how it's done, but it looks amazing. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like and the view from our seat. Okay, so this is the view from our seat. Like I said, it's been completely transformed into like in the round. It looks amazing. And yeah, just can't wait for it to start now and then uh, see what it's like. So I will probably get back to you now in the interval and let you know what it's like. So it is now the interval and the show is so good. It's probably the best production of Oliver that I've seen. Really enjoying it. The, uh, the staging is excellent. And yeah, really enjoyed it. I'm just gonna go and get a drink now and then um, I'll come back and maybe see if I can show you a bit of the set. I just picked up an orange juice um, in the interval. I'm gonna drink this and then head back to my seat. 
okay so it is now the interval and I'm really enjoying it the way they've staged it is really good it's sort of in the round but I think wherever you sat wherever you sat you oh, get a right, brilliant view yeah. yeah it's so good the way they've staged the it singing and dancing is amazing yeah the dancing and the big group numbers are just incredible so good I think probably the best production Bolivar I've seen really really good I don't think you've seen all of them before have you? I've not seen it in theatre before but I've really enjoyed it so far it's yeah really good. it's really really good definitely recommend it so far obviously we've got the second half of it yet but so far excellent and I'm going to tell my husband that he needs to come and see it because I think he'll absolutely yeah. love it he would so yeah uh, we'll get back to you now uh, at the end of the show we'll let you know what we thought but so far absolutely loving it
just arrived at the train station. The show actually finished a quarter of an hour later than it was supposed to. So we've rushed a bit to get here, but we've made it. We've, we've got plenty of time actually, but I think this is the train, yeah. It says Manchester Piccadilly. So this is our train. I'm gonna get on this now. I head home, but the show was absolutely amazing. Really, really loved it. Let's get on it. For six. just arrived back at Manchester Victoria. I'm gonna go now and get the tram to Piccadilly and then from there we can get a tram back to home. So yeah, off to get the tram now. days since I went to see the show with my friend Natasha but I thought I'd give you a little review um so obviously we went to Leeds Playhouse to see their new revival of Oliver um the show is in their quarry theatre and this is the first time I'd been in their quarry theatre however I'm aware it looked quite different than to how it usually looks um it's been it's been transformed into like a theatre in the round um, and it looked it looked amazing it looked really good um, we were sat on row K seats 24 and 25 and our view was really good from there um, I would there was like a rail that was in my eye line and it did distract me a little bit not too much I think if I was buying a ticket I would try and sit in front of the the rail or um in the seats on the up on the right hand side of us because there was no rail in front of those um but it was a good view um but i do get distracted easily so that did distract me a little bit with that being in my eye line so like i said if i was buying my own tickets i would probably not choose that seat of us in front of the rail or on the other side where there was no rail to um to distract me uh, it's just just in my eye line it did distract me a little bit so there was no merch for the show because it is is a show that's been produced by Leeds Playhouse itself they don't have any merch other than the program which I do have here they're also giving out some stickers with this image on I just can't find where mine's gone I think I gave it to the children and there was a little just a little bookmark Thing they were giving out as well which was nice there we go like I said the stickers just had this image on but that was everything that, that they had uh, I think to buy the programs I think they're about I can't quite remember about five to six pounds the programs um, which isn't too bad so Oliver is the Christmas show that's on over the Christmas period at Leeds Playhouse in their Quarry Theatre. And if you don't know much about the uh, musical Oliver, it is a Lionel Bart classic, um, and he based the musical on the 1838 novel Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. So my first experience of the musical Oliver was the movie uh, which I think was first out in 1968, I think that's when it was. So it's quite an old movie, but I still really enjoy it. Usually I'm not a fan of old movies, but it's just a really good movie, the Oliver movie. And obviously the, this musical has some great songs in it as well. Um, I'm actually surprised how many songs 
that I, I recognised in the musical. I mean, I have seen, I think I've seen Oliver twice, but like many, many years ago, there's a massive gap between the last time I saw. It's at least, at least 15 years since I last saw a production of Oliver, so it's been a while. But yeah, my first experience of it was the movie. Um, which I think a lot of people my age will have seen and obviously um, it's been out for a long time. Actually I'm just thinking of when the show last toured, I think it was 2011 the last tour of Oliver, so it's not quite 15 years, it's about 12 years, 13 years, something like that. So it was the 2011 tour which I saw and I'm not sure if it, when it last toured before then, um, I'm not sure, but yeah, 2011 was when it last toured, so that's when I last saw it. I think it was a Cameron Mackintosh production. In fact, I'm pretty sure Samantha Box was in it playing Nancy when I saw it. Um, it might have been when they did that I'd Do Anything show. I think after that, I think it was on in London and I think it eventually toured. So yeah, it's been a few years since um, there's been a tour of Oliver. And I remember really enjoying the last tour as well. I thought it was really good. So I was really excited to see this and see how this compared both to the movie and the last tour. Obviously, I knew this was going to be like a completely different sort of way of seeing the show because it's obviously in the round. I've never seen it done that way before. In fact, I don't know if it's been done in the round before. I've never heard of it being done in the round before, so this is something really new and exciting and I was really looking forward to seeing the show. So this musical has been directed by James Brinning and Oliver is set in Victorian times and it tells the story of young orphan Oliver who is living in a workhouse and after angering the workhouse caretaker um, because he asked for more food, which you would then get the, the song, you have the song just before that, Food Glorious Food, which is a really good song. And then Oliver says the famous line, please sir, I want some more. And then obviously that angers the um, workhouse caretaker and he actually then goes to sell Oliver to an undertaker. Um, and the Undertaker takes him on as his apprentice. So Oliver does eventually escape from the Undertaker and ends up in London and it's there that he meets the artful Dodger. So Dodger is a young boy about the same age, maybe a bit older than Oliver and Dodger invites Oliver to come and live in Fagin's lair. So Fagin is a criminal who uses young boys to go out and pickpocket for him. So Fagin invites Oliver into his lair and he gets the other boys to teach Oliver the ways of a pickpocket and then he sends Oliver out on his first mission to go out pickpocketing. But on Oliver's first job he actually ends up getting caught by the police and uh, taken away. Oliver then gets released into the care of the man who is trying to pickpocket this man is a wealthy man and he decides he wants to take care of Oliver because he feels like there's something familiar about him. He feels he feels sort of a connection to Oliver. However, the criminal gang wants to get Oliver back so he can't tell anyone about their operation. So they end up making a plan to kidnap him and get him back. So that is the basic story of Oliver. So like I said, this show has been done in the round and it really made you sort of feel immersed in the show. You definitely felt a lot closer to the action and it just you just felt more like you were in the story with the characters. So the set was designed by Colin Richmond. It had sort of a scaffolding look to it with um, a number of platforms and stairways. Um, there was a bridge that went across the, the top of the stage um, there was a big platform at the back so it really gave the production a bit of depth and it gave the actors many levels on which to work on and they really made use of that whole stage um, which was really good there was a use of a variety of props and set pieces which allowed us to be transformed to all the different locations we had at the warehouse we had the undertakers and what I really enjoyed when they're in the undertakers um, 
I think it was during the song That's Your Funeral. Um, they had little um, like hideaway holes in the stage floor which would lift up and they looked sort of coffin shaped so it looked like a coffin was being opened and then smoke would come out and characters would pop out. I thought that was really well done. I really enjoyed the staging of that. We also had the tavern, uh, the streets of of London and the set changes were done seamlessly by the cast. Also another bit of the set that I really enjoyed was actually hanging from the ceiling there was loads of little lanterns and I thought that created a really nice atmosphere for the show um, and I really I really liked that I really liked seeing all the little lanterns going down from the ceiling. So the set along with the lighting design which was done by Guy Hall worked really well together to create the atmosphere of the show. So the costumes for the show were also designed by Colin Richmond and they were fantastic and they fit perfectly in with the time period in which Oliver was set. So one of the highlights of the show for me has to be Lucy Hines choreography. It was just full of energy and the cast just looked like they're having so much fun on stage especially during the big group numbers. I uh, really enjoyed these they filled the entire stage and just used all the space available to them and it just looked fantastic and yeah it was truly mesmerizing to watch those big group dance numbers really really enjoyed them i thought she did a really good job with all the all the choreography in the show so the cast for this show was absolutely exceptional especially all the young cast members so there are three different Olivers and I think three different Dodgers in the show. But for our performance, we had Nicholas Texera. I think that's how he's, you pronounce his second name. So he played young orphan Oliver and he was just outstanding. He gave such a confident performance. He also did a great job at showing Oliver's vulnerability. And his solo number, Where Is Love, was delivered with such emotion and was really beautifully sung. So I really enjoyed his solo. I thought he did such a great job. Then playing Dodger for our performance, we had Felix Holt. And again, he gave a really confident performance and he really showed off his vocal talents in the number Consider Yourself. I thought he did a great job with that. So playing Fagan, um, we had Steve first and I thought he gave a really strong performance. He gave the character of Fagin a bit more depth and he actually made him a little bit likeable as well. I actually kind of really kind of liked Fagin and I thought he had like a great rapport with the children and I have to say his performance of reviewing the situation was fantastic. So playing Bill Sykes we had Chris Bennett I thought he gave a really chilling performance as the evil and sinister Bill Sykes. Um, he definitely was a bit scary, which is what Bill Sykes is supposed to be. He just felt really sort of menacing and dark. And his performance of My Name uh, was powerful and, and really menacing as well. So I thought he did a great job with that. I think the standout performer for me was probably Jenny Fitzpatrick playing Nancy. I thought she was perfectly cast for the role. She definitely was able to show the character's vulnerable side really well and her powerhouse vocals on her solo, He Needs Me, blew the roof off the theatre and I think was definitely one of the highlights of the show. I also have to mention Meenal Patel and Rosie Ead who played Mr Bumble and Widow Cornet. I thought the two of them together made a great comedy duo and I thought they bounced off each other really well. Also Harry Waller and Laura Kearns I thought gave a great performance as Mr and Mrs Sobery. Sobery I think they were called. Um, they were the Undertakers and I really enjoyed their performance of That's My Funeral. I, I really enjoyed that song. Okay so now's probably a good point to go through the program we can go through the cast and um just see what's in here okay so here is the program it's got the lead place house logo at the top 
it says a Leeds Place House production by special arrangement with Cameron McIntosh, Lionel Bart Oliver. And it says book, music and lyrics by Lionel Bart, freely adapted from Charles Dickens' Oliver Twist, orchestral arrangements by William David Brown. And then it says production licensed by Musical Theatre International. And then it has season sponsor Places for Life. So yeah, Leeds. There we go. That's the front of the program. So inside here we've got welcome. So we've just got a little welcome here from the director and executive director of Leeds Playhouse. You have the song list here. So in Act 1, you've got Food, Glorious Food, Oliver, I Shall Scream, Boy for Sale, That's Your Funeral, Where is Love, Consider Yourself, You've Got to Pick a Pocket or Two, It's a Fine Life, I'd Do Anything, Be Back Soon. And I didn't realise how many songs I knew so well from this show. You just don't realise how many good songs are actually in Oliver. Like, I love every single one of those songs. And yet I didn't realise that they were all from Oliver. Um, so it is amazing how many songs you do actually know from this show without realising. You then have Oom Papa. It's another song, like, I know. My Name, As Long As He Needs Me. Where Is Love. Who Will Buy. It's A Fine Life. Reviewing The Situation. Oliver, as long as he needs me, London Bridge last review in the situation, and final. So, there's a lot of really good songs in this show. And we've got Oliver, Glorious Oliver. It says, Director James Brinning discusses the brilliance of Lionel Bart's musical and how the Playhouse and how the Playhouse comes alive when 50,000 people consider themselves at home in the quarry over the festive season. And there goes a little article there. We have some lovely rehearsal photos here. This is a really nice program actually and the quality is really, really good. You have some um, adverts for some upcoming shows so they've got Frankenstein coming in February uh, Macbeth in March so here you have your cast list so you've got Oliver Twist you've got three boys to play Oliver you've got Carter J Murphy Nicholas Texera who played Oliver for our performance and Theo Wake and for Fagin, you've got Steve Hurst. Artful Dodger, you've got Felix Holt, who played Dodger for our show. Then you've got Huey Higginson and Noah Walton. Bill Sykes is Chris Bennett. Nancy, Jenny Fitzpatrick. Bet and cover Nancy is Frankie Hart. Mr. Bumble is Meenal Patel. Widow Cornet, Rose Ead. Mr. Brownlow is Simon Green. Mr. Strawberry and cover Fagan is Harry Waller. Mrs. Strawberry and cover Mrs. Bedwin and Old Sally is Laura Kens. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Mr. Grimwig and cover Mr. Brownlow is Christopher Glover. Mrs. Bedwin and Old Sally and cover Mrs. Strawberry is Rachel Lawrence. Then we have Ensemble, cover Mr. Grimwig, cover Bill Sykes, Isaac Adlam. Ensemble, cover Bet, cover, cover Oliver and cover Dodger is Rachel Claire Chan. Dance Captain, Swing Ensemble, Fight Captain, cover Fagan and cover Mr. Bumble is Landor Gove. 
Ensemble, cover Mr. Bumble, cover Mr. Brownlow, cover Mr. Grimwig is Danny Lane. Ensemble, Knife Grinder and Bullseye, cover Bill Sykes and cover Mr. Stowbury is Jake Lomas. Ensemble, cover Mr. Stowbury, cover Widow Corney is Martha Ponfin. Swing. Ensemble cover Mr. Sorry, cover Mrs. Bedwin and Old Sally, and cover Nancy is Michaela Stern. And swing ensemble cover Mr. Strawberry is Scott War. Then you've got your long, young company here. I'm not going to go through all the names because there's lots in there, but there's lots in this company. Then you've got your musicians. You've got your creative team, stage management, production credits, and chaperones. You've got with thanks. And then here it says running time is 2 hours and 30 minutes, including a 20 minute interval. So here we have your cast biographies. Um, so we had Nicholas Texera playing Oliver on our performance. He's nine years old, he's from Manchester, and he played Christopher Robin in Winnie the Pooh. I assume that was for the tour or for the London production. Uh, he's played young Danny Osmond in the Osmonds uh, UK tour, young Abel in Children of Eden in London, and yeah, he's done quite a few things actually. And then Stephen, then we have Steve first, who was Fagan. His stage credit credits include Mr. Gum and the Dancing Bear, Jews in Their Own World, Matilda, Made in Dagenham. Uh, and yeah, there's a few things that he has been in. There he is. Then we had. Felix Holt, who played the Artful Dodger, he is 11 years old, he's from Penstow. Uh, previous credits include Christopher Robin in Winnie the Pooh again, um, Alfie in Nativity the Musical, The Boy in The Snowman, and yeah, those are some of the things he's done, so again, he's done a few things. Then we had Chris Bennett as Bill Sykes. So he's been in Only Fields and Horses, the musical, Strictly Ballroom, Dirty Dancing, Guys and Dolls. So yeah, he's done a lot of stuff. Then we have Jenny Fitzpatrick, who was playing Nancy. Her theatre credits include Tina, the Tina Turner musical, A Christmas Carol, Rock of Ages, uh, Wonder Boy, uh, Sister Act. So yeah, she's done a lot of stuff. We had Frankie Hart playing Bet, and she's also a cover for Nancy. And we had Meenal Patel as Mr. Bumble. His theatre credits include Admiral Von Schreiber in The Sound of Music, Big Davy in Billy Elliot. He's also been in Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. So those are some of the things he's been in. Then had Rosie Ede as Widow Cornet. She's been in things such as Julius Caesar, Grandpa's Great Escape, and those are just some of the things that she's done. Then we have Simon Green, who played Mr. Brownlow. So he's been in Sunday in the part with George. He's been in Passion, Follies, Titanic. He's also played Lumia in Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, he's done quite a few things. Then we have Harry Waller as Mr. Showbury. His theatre credits include Love's, Love's Labour Lost, Much Ado About Nothing, The Christmas Truce, Wendy and Peter Pan. And yeah, those are some of the things he's done. Then we have Laura Cairns who played Mrs. So Sobery. Her theatre credits include Everyman, The Girl with the Iron Claws, Hag, The Tempest, A Christmas Carol, uh, and yeah, there's a few things she's done.
Then we had Christopher Glover who played Mr. Grimwig. His, some of his credits include The Card, The Kite Runner, Sign of Four and Five Steps. A few things he's been in. And then we have Rachel Lawrence as Mrs. Bedwin and Old Sally. I'm not going to go through everyone's theatre credits. Uh, then we had Zach Adlam, he was Ensemble, Rachel Clare Chan was Ensemble, Laylin Gove is Gangst Captain Swing and Ensemble, Danny Lane is Ensemble, Jack Lomas Ensemble and Martha Poffin as Ensemble. We then had Michaela Stern as a swing slash ensemble and Scott War as swing slash ensemble. Then we have the young company here. I'm not going to go through everyone, but there we go. This is the young company. And then we have the creative team's biographies. We have um, some information about eating and drinking at the Leeds, at Leeds Playhouse. So you've got the front room cafe on the ground floor. You've got the Playhouse kitchen on level two. You've got the Playhouse bar on level two. You've got some family facilities. And then you've got the gallery as well that's there. Uh, You've got Soya, which I think is a sponsor. And then you've got your thanks uh, to the supporters. Yeah. And then you've got a list of volunteers that work at the theatre. And then you've got your staff there. There you go. I think that's a really lovely programme. Like I said, the quality is really good on this. It's really nice. Program, it's like an A4 size, it's not one of the smaller ones, it's quite a big program as well. So this production, Oliver, is definitely the best production I have seen. It's beautifully staged, it has an extremely talented cast, and it is definitely West End quality. I could definitely see this on a West End stage and doing really well as well. So I would definitely say grab your ticket while you can, whilst it's in Leeds. It's on at Leeds Playhouse until the 27th of January. So there's plenty of time to get down there and go and see it. I've told my husband he needs to get down there and go and see it because I think he would absolutely love it. So hopefully he can go and see it uh, before it finishes. It's because, like I said, it's a fantastic show. Also my friend Natasha that came with me, she absolutely loved it. She's not a massive theatre fan, but she absolutely loved this show. Definitely raving about it. So yeah, loads of people will absolutely love this show. It's also good for families. It's not too scary. There's quite a few children there who seem to be really enjoying the show. Uh, and yeah, this for me is definitely a five star show. It's a show that I could go back and see again and again. In fact, if my husband goes, maybe I might try and go with him. Although I'd probably have to stay and watch the kids. I don't think we could both go. Unless we went for a matinee, maybe then we could go together. But I really want to see it again because it was just so good. Uh, there's not many shows that I'd go back and back and back to, but this is definitely one that I would definitely go back and see it again. So yeah, like I said, this for me it was a five star show and you should really try and go and see it if you can. Um, so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little theatre vlog and review. If you do enjoy these sort of videos, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. And you'll be notified when my next video goes up. I've got quite a few videos to go up. I have got quite a backlog. I'm trying to get my way through them. I've recently seen the Good Enough Mums Club at the Lowry, so that will be going up. I don't think it's gone up before this. It might go before this. Uh, I'm not sure. I've still got some videos from when I went to London that I still haven't got up. I went to see uh, Tina Turner, Wicked, Matilda and Book of Mormon and those haven't gone up yet but I'm really working hard to try and get them up. Um, 
I've got quite a few shows coming up as well. I've got uh, Fantastic Great Women That Changed the World at the Lowry. I have uh, The Enormous Crocodile back at Leeds Playhouse. Um, what else have I got? I have White Christmas at Sheffield Crucible. And I've also got a children's uh, theatre show, um, Twinkle at the Zed Art Centre. So if you're interested in seeing any of those, then like I said, please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell and be notified as soon as those goes up. So like I said, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon. Bye.